Hi everyone, welcome back to Z Physics. Today we're going to answer a question which I get asked quite a lot when I'm teaching physics, and that is why are the rules for adding resistors and capacitors in series and parallel opposite? Well, let's get started. Let's start with a series circuit. On this in the circuit over here on the left, we have two resistors which are connected in series. Kirchhoff's second law says that the sum of the EMFs, which in this case is just V total, that's the EMF of the cell, is going to equal to the sum of the PDs, which are V1 and V2. In other words, we know this intuitively as well because voltage is shared that V total will be equal to V1 plus V2. Well, remember in all of the electrical circuits, V is equal to IR, which is the defining equation of electrical circuit, Ohm's law. This means that I can rewrite my expression for Kirchhoff's second law as I times R total, which will be equal to I times R1 plus I times R2. Remember though, the current is constant in a series circuit. So we can say over here that I is equal to a constant in a series circuit. This means that we can cancel out the I's. So let's do that. Let's get rid of the I's in this ex expression. And what we're left with is the formula for adding two resistors in a series circuit that R total is R1 plus R2. Now let's have a look at a capacitor's series circuit. Once again, we have a EMF across the, um, across the power supply, across the cell. I'm going to call this V total once again, because the current that is charging those capacitors, the total amount of charge that has flown through this circuit will be equal to the amount of charge across each of those capacitors. And this is because I, or the current, is equal to a constant in a series circuit. Now, let's write down Kirchhoff's second law in exactly the same way as we have done for the circuit with resistors. Kirchhoff's second law doesn't really mind what components there are, connect, what components are connected in series, whether it's a bulb, a resistor, or a capacitor, the laws of physics are very, very similar. So what I'm going to say is that V total will be equal to V1 plus V2. Now, the defining equation for capacitors is no longer V is equal to IR. It is Q is equal to CV. I'll just rewrite that. Q is equal to CV, which means that in general, the voltage is going to equal to Q over C. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute this in a very similar way in this equation. And I'm going to write down that Q over C total is going to equal Q over C1 plus Q over C2. Assuming that this capacitor here has a capacitance of C1 and this capacitor here has a capacitance of C2. As I said, the charge is constant because the current is constant in a series circuit, so we can cancel out the Q's like so, what we're left with is that 1 over C total is 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2, which is our formula for adding capacitors in series. So those are the two rules for resistors in series and capacitors in series. Let me just circle this one as well. Let's derive the corresponding rules for resistors in parallel and capacitors in parallel. Starting off with 
resistors in parallel we have uh, once again a very very similar circuit in which we have two resistors of resistance R1 and R2 which have been connected in parallel. Notice that now in a parallel circuit it is the voltage or the potential difference which is a constant and it's the current that is shared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down an expression of Kirchhoff's first law and that is that I total is going to equal to I1 plus I2 like so. Okay well let's write down Ohm's law once again V is equal to IR. I'm just going to rearrange for I here. I'm going to get that I is in general equal to V over R. So I can once again substitute this back in this expression. What I'm going to get is that I total is going to equal to V over R total. That's going to equal to V over R1 plus V over R2. Notice that this is a parallel circuit and this means that the potential difference V is constant. So V total is equal to V1 and V2. So that means that we can cancel out this V over here. And what we are left with is an expression for adding two resistors in parallel. That is that 1 over R total is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. We have successfully derived a formula that you guys have probably known since your GCSEs. Let's do the corresponding formula for two capacitors in parallel. Once again, they're going to charge up to exactly the same potential difference V. However, the defining equation is that Q is equal to CV rather than Ohm's law. Because the current that is charging them will be shared, the charge will also be shared. So in other words, Q total is going to equal to Q1 plus Q2. Our Q total will be equal to the total capacitance, let's call that C total times V, which will be equal to C1 times V plus C2 times V. The potential difference is constant in a parallel circuit, so we can cancel those out like so. And what we're left with is that C total is equal to C1 plus C2. Okay guys, we have successfully done four different derivations of the rules for adding resistors and capacitors in a series and parallel circuit. Well done for following those four derivations. If there are any questions, please drop a comment and ask me your question. Thank you very much for watching and I hope this was useful.